Hey everyone, Pinhead9811 here, and today I got my first texture pack review. Today we have um, the John Smith Legacy texture pack, which is 32 by 32 HD textures, and it's supposed to be based on medieval times. So if you want that medieval times feel, then this is definitely the one to get. It is the John Smith Legacy resource pack. So let's get started here. I have a world based, uh, I have a world set up for all the different, different uh, blocks. So this is it right here. So these are all the different stone blocks. These are the cracked bricks, which look a little bit different. You've got your sandstone, sandstone mossy bricks, gnome bricks, stone bricks, um, cobblestone, and stone. These are the different trees right here, and they're chopped wood, I guess. And we've got a nice ladder going up the side to show you guys how that ladder looks. So these, starting right here, this is the oak, the spruce, the birch, jungle wood. Um, dark oak wood and Asasia, which is in the savannah. This is the um, what do you call it? Web spider web right here. And beside it, we've got the corresponding trees, the way they look in the wild, and their leaves. So beside that, we got the wool. All the wool looks pretty much the same, except for the light gray wool and the white wool. The white wool has a border around it, and the light gray wool has an X through it. So these are the different ores right here. I really like the diamond ore because it has a special animation. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. We got our emerald ore, redstone ore, gold ore, lapis luzio, nether quartz, coal, and the iron ore which also has a bit of a shine to it. Beside that we have the corresponding blocks that if you make a crafting, like if you go to a crafting table and lay, make it full of like diamonds or something, this is what you're going to get. I really like the lapis luzio block because it's got a cool brick blue brick feeling to it. So beside that we've got um, some nether portal stuff, some nether, like in the nether stuff. This is the nether portal right here. It looks basically the same except for the obsidian. It looks a little bit different. Be uh, below that we've got the nether brick. Voice crack. We've got some glowstone, um, nether rack, and soul sand. Beside that we've got a little bit of miscellaneous stuff. A hay bale, jackie lantern, some clay that you find in the bottom of rivers and stuff, bricks and glass. And finally we've got TNT, I really like the creeper face on it, the redstone lamp, pistons, this is a normal piston and a sticky piston, gravel, dirt, and I'm not sure what this is, um, it looks, I don't know, whatever. Um, this is a stone, I'm, I'm not sure what these are called, stone, what are they called? Stone wall. So this is the cobblestone wall, and on the other side over here we've got the mossy co cobblestone wall. So they did put a lot of effect into the mossy stuff because up here we've got like that mossy stone, the jungle wood, and the wall. So the moss looks really cool. Here we've got a nice medieval door. Um, the iron doors make it look like a dungeon, which looks really really cool. Here we've got the redstone. This is what the redstone looks like: the repeater and the le uh, lever. This is a crafting table, furnaces, which look really, really cool. Give it a really nice medieval feel. Feel, feel. <laughs> this is a chest right here, which also looks really, really nice in medieval times. The enchantment table, I really, really like. They look, they really did well on the enchantment table. These are dispensers, and we've got our stairs right here, and bookcases with all the letters going out into the enchantment table. Here we've got some fences and some two gates keeping the animals in, so let's go in here. The horses look really nice with the armor. So this is your white horse with a with diamond armor. Looks really nice. The black horse with the gold armor looks really, really cool for medieval times. And then we got our brown horse with gray armor. So that looks really nice. Here we've got our sheep. And there's a donkey back here. They're kind of all huddled in this corner. Come on guys, get out. The mushroom cow, which I have never ever seen, a pig, and a normal cow. So that's all the different blocks and animals. So let's get to some of the mobs. We've got a um, a ghast right here. The ghast look really, really, really cool. So we'll get to the face here. It looks like a ghost almost, and it looks really, really scary if you're in the nether. Here we've got our enderman, which kind of just flies away there. It looks really, really cool, probably scary at night. We've got our skeletons swimming around down here, and 
Um, you guys probably want to see the zombie, so... Zombie right here. This is a zombie pigment right here. Looks really, really vicious. And... Where's the zombie? Right here. So that's your zombie right there, even though he's on fire. Looks really bloody and very vicious. So thanks, thank you guys for watching, and uh, tune in next time for the next texture pack. And I'm not sure what it will be, but I'm sure it will be very cool. So see you guys then.